Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's DJ Mods are out, and we've got 18 new and updated mods to take a look at today. For all platforms, we've got 8 new and 2 updates, and for PC and Mac, we have 7 new and 1 update. I make mod review videos every time mods are released on the official in-game mod hub, so get subscribed if you're new. That way, you never miss any. Starting off today with new mods for all platforms, we have the Aven or Angevin Countryside. Uh, it's also called La Capaine Angevin. I have no clue. Uh, this is a French map from Mail. LTA. You got two cow barns, big barn, two sheep bifolds, one stud, don't know what that is, uh, one CUMA, and one BGA. So we've got a lot of things that were not translated properly through there. We've also got 155 fields that are purchasable uh, individually, which is great to see. Nothing is squared off whatsoever. So you come through here, gotta choose whatever you like. A lot of itty bitty little farms, or if you want to spend $1.6 million, uh, you can get yourself some logging areas as well. You can also buy the outside of the map for a total of $18,655,000. Goodness gracious. Let's take a look at what you guys get in on items. So we have the Star 85. We also have the Voucher and the Massey. This is looking a lot like the European map tractors. And it looks like that's exactly what they've done. Yep. So if you guys are used to playing with the European map, well, you've got all of the starting equipment from that. As far as consoles go, this is going to start off at 1,048 slots. I would love to show you guys this on consoles. However, um, there was an incident yesterday with the bug spraying guys. And guess who has to get new capture cards and a new Xbox? Good things are happening. Not really. Yesterday was awful. Uh, let's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what the slot count usage is going to be after everything's said and done if you delete things, but just a heads up there. New map, out now, all platforms. Next, we've got the work cap. This is from Rick Black Label and TWD Modding. This is going to go in your front telehandler, and you can go inside of it, raise it up. They say it's ideal for use when working in high trees, making work a little bit easier. Also, if you're making videos on YouTube or anything like that, you can also jump in this and use it for taking thumbnails and things like that, especially if you're on console. I've always used a telehandler. You just run up the back of it, and now you've got a nice, beautiful, raised area. So try that. Check it out. I think this is going to be very, very useful to quite a few of you guys. Next up, we got a placeable BGA for you guys. This is from Mifu FS. They got a bunch of stuff on Mod Hub. You definitely check out what they've done. This is the 60KW. Um, they also say it's a compact 50KW in the mod description. So I think we copy and pasted the wrong things there. They say intended for medium to large companies, use silage, but also animal uh, remains as well. If we bump in and we take a look at our productions, we could find that we've got a 60 and a 50. Don't worry, the 50 is later on. However, um, it may look interesting to you guys that the 60 and the 50 are both quite literally the same. So these are gonna be two mods. I'll show you guys the one that's basically 50 here in a moment. But as you can tell, here are all of your stuff for the 60. From Camillo's 0397, we have their 50 KW BGA. Now, of course, you saw a moment ago where they are quite literally the same in all aspects, but the design so much different on this one. Of course, they say this one's for medium large companies. Or as animal waste as well. It's almost like the descriptions were copy and pasted, but these are two different modders completely. So I imagine these are just coming from base game pieces. Again, if we take a look, we've got silage, slurry, manure, sugar beet cut, all exactly the same. Exactly the same. Crazy. We've also got the shed solar panels. Here we go. This is going to be from Maddie J Mods. Good to see Maddie J go put some stuff out today. It's got uh, stuff, plenty of room inside. We've got a bunch of lights. Goodness gracious, that's a bunch of lights. Uh, they say this is a planked large shed. Daily upkeep's gonna be 15 bucks per day. Price is 45 grand. It is seasons ready, which is awesome. And it gives you $150 daily depending on what you've got so this is kind of cool i had a hard time finding it at first but it's super easy it's just in sheds and it's right here the uh or the pictures don't line up quite right but you'll find it totally easily uh by the way i know it says 150 dollars daily but as you can see here in easy mode uh 2880 dollars a month so you may be making a lot of money especially if you're doing uh one day year seasons ish 
Yeah, it's going to be wild. All right. We also have the water tower. Oh, I can't say that. Uh, it's up at the top left. Check it out. Uh, 25M3VBR25U12. What a name from Russ Agrotech. What is this? It's, it's a water thing, man. You just get your water from this. <laughs> It's the water tower. All you're going to find it in is buildings right here in the water tower itself. It's only $2,000. There is that. We're seeing quite a few designs that look exactly like this. I don't remember seeing anything like this Farming Simulator 19, but here we are. And it's here. So check it out if you want. Here's one that's really cool. Your next to last new mod for all platforms today is the Concrete Fence and Gates. And boy, do I love these. So, of course, we have a Concrete Fence, which is very very cool it's looking good get right up on it it does have uh, the parallax occlusion so that's working perfectly fine if your console or computer uh, handles that and then we've got two gates you've got an old rusty gate and you've got a beautiful new gate both are in red and of course they match perfectly with the concrete fence this is super cool easy to find as well uh, go into decorations go into fences and if it's the first thing you've downloaded well it's gonna be right here super quick super easy man i love the fence thing and your last new mod for all platforms today is gonna be the rustic fence this is from uh ragaman 2414 let's flop down to the ground take a look at these so here is gonna be your fence i will say not as highly detailed as other things that we've seen. So heads up there if you're looking for that. We've also got two gates as well. So this is going to be a first one. And we have a larger gate here as well. So this may still be what you're looking for. Uh, it just doesn't appear to be as high quality as a couple of the other fences that we've got similar to this. Nothing wrong with it. Let's take a look at a couple mod updates for all platforms today. We've only got two of them. The first is a Colossus Lexi and 8900 5300. I really love this mod, by the way. You guys definitely need to check it out. This is update 1.1. Added the tear track with the spoke design, optimized the driving behavior, added animations, improved the particle system, adjusted the chaff distribution, optimized the ladders, optimized the pipes, adjusted the exhaust system, improved the new on the, or view on the cutter. That's going to be in from the cab. Also, they've added new configurations for beacon light, field sensor, and ladder, optimized the model, adjusted the materials, and adjusted the prices to the base game. This is a huge update, and if you're using it, definitely get the update. And your only other mod update for you guys for all platforms today is going to be the heavy duty shelf now i'm gonna try something real quick while we're in here we're gonna try and exit out of that and then come back in and nothing nothing appears this is gonna be fun uh this is update 1.001 fix the shadows objects that didn't cast shadows now cast shadows making our way into new mods for pc and mac players we have the cum ktr 18500 this is going to be an 18,500 slurry tanker and is going to be 9.9 .9 tons almost 10 tons empty it'll be very very heavy once you fill it up though 200 horsepower required so not too bad there and it's a 10 mile per hour working speed how does that work well we've got a three point on the back so you hook up a drag hose or or an injector something like that that's how you get your slurry into the ground wheel brands we have trello bork vrodstein nucky and tires nothing too crazy through there you can change up your design here between cum white and black and we have a main color now this is nice because we've got a couple old colors things that you would be used to seeing with this but they've also given you the free range to paint it whatever color you want which is nice and of course We've got your license plate on the back. If you're looking for some rollers, Blend Arts got you covered. Today, we've got two different rollers. We have the PB5032 and we have the HMR2. Now, the HMR2 is going to be uh, carried behind this version, however, is kind of a trailed roller. I like the way these look. Weighs six tons, super, super heavy, though rollers in game are quite heavy anyway. 54 horsepower, six, mi uh, six meter wide, and nine miles per hour. Rollers, you've got a smooth roller, you have a toothed roller, you have the Cambridge roller, which we're used to seeing base game. So choose whichever ones of those that you like. Main color, we'll take a look here. So this is your color palette. We'll stick with a nice Forcer red, looking good there. Design color, let's go green. So that's gonna be, ooh, the hydraulic cylinders, nice. Design color, let's go bright yellow. Is it just the ends? It's just the ends. All right. A rim color. That's just going to be the rim color on the back. As far as this version, this is a trailed version. So we've got a folding arm left, right, however you want to do there. We have the same toothed rollers and everything like that. Main color, of course, will be your main color and design color, I assume. Yeah, same thing. It's going to be on the very end. So if you want a folding big, big piece right here, 
you go with that. Or if you want to create your own little setup right here, two meters wide each, you could do that. That's kind of cool. And uh, another update real quick for you guys. The Angavin Countryside has already gotten an update. This is the 1.001 .001 version. Like, what was that? An hour after they released, uh, corrected the wrongly placed water plane so there you guys go there's a quick update for the angavin countryside your next new one for pc and mac players today is a kind of a cool one this is the enhanced bunker silo from team ltw the script extends the silos with the function to open them completely this allows a silo that is not yet empty to be refilled and then closed again for fermentation opening the silo completely will revert the completed fermenting process that's kind of neat we've also got the wood harvester measurement mod now this is showing as a brand new mod so i'm not sure what this whole 1.003 business is about uh, but basically if we go up to the top you've got wood harvester add-on to measure the count and volume of cutted sp or splits there's also two di different types of splits you got log and pulp wood threshold values for pine and spruce logs and pulp woods can be changed from the menu you can see there all of the different things that you got and they've uh, changed a few things as well I did, this is a new mod, is what this is, but it's 1.03. Get them. Here's one that might be useful for you guys. Optional fertilizing. So this fertilizing functions on seeding machines can be switched off separately from the seeds. This is going to be a value of shift and then the letter V. And I think I'm going to have to get this downloaded. This seems pretty cool. Next to last new one for PC and Mac players today is going to be the contract HUD. There's a helpful small HUD displaying the current uh, completion percentage of all active contracts. The only thing that's a little bit irritating uh, is it also shows you active contracts zero at all times. You could do alt ilm and that toggles between three possible modes. You got full, no progress bar and hidden. So you definitely want to toggle that Alt, and then the letter M. And your last new one for PC and Mac players today is the vehicle info from Kenny456. This mod shows you additional information about your vehicle, like distance traveled and kilometers, fuel consumption, or motor temperature. Now, these are things that you can find online as or uh, on the uh, help windows and things like that as well. But you've got info uh, displayed in a small hut next to the speedometer, uh, and you can move that around. You can also configure it a little bit as well. And here are all your controls to do that. If you guys want this, check it out. And of course, Refresh Contracts is not showing either. This is going to be Update 1.001 for PC players. Refresh button also now works on dedicated server. I wish I could refresh this so it would actually show me the thing. Come on! Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. A new map is here. I hope you guys enjoy playing on the new map. The Angavin Countryside. This was a map that was out in Farming Simulator 19, so if you remember it then, maybe it will be very familiar to you guys now. Also, stay tuned. we got Farm Sim News coming out a little bit later on today. Check the pinned comment. It may already be linked there. All being said, I hope you guys have an awesome, wonderful rest of your day. We're halfway through the week. Oh, and Giant said uh, update 1.3 sometime this week. I don't know when. I guess we'll find out, and we'll see you later. Peace.